Welcome to Focus Washington. I'm Chuck Conconi, and my guest today is Susan Eisenhower, who's lifelong Republican, just back from the Obama campaign trail. Susan, thank you for coming. Great to be with you, Chuck. Now, you were in Florida this week on the campaign, campaigning for Obama. How did it go? Well, I think it went pretty well. Uh, I was campaigning in Republican districts in, in Florida, and there's an actually a very active Republicans for Obama movement down there in the um, Fort Myers area. And they um, managed to get many people together to hear a number of uh, Republicans for Obama to come talk to them. It's quite remarkable. Did you get any impression of how that state's going? Well, you know, it's hard to see the, the, the big picture when you're going from town to town. But I will say that in Sarasota, um, between four and 5,000 people came out on Sunday morning just to wave Obama placards. Um, and they all, you know, said, well, this won't be covered by the newspaper, but we are here anyway. And uh, apparently the, the march extended for two miles. Remarkable. That does sound remarkable. What surprises me, I was looking over the list I was writing down. Susan Heisenhower, Colin Powell, Chris Buckley, now Ken Edelman, Peggy Noonan, all these people, well-known, prominent Republicans, are now supporting Obama. What's happening with the Republican Party? Well, I think, first of all, uh, many things happened over a longer period of time, but it's the way the uh, campaign has been conducted. I think the choice of Sarah Palin was a signal to uh, people in the party that the future of the party would be progressively to the right, rather, into the center. And I think many of um, the people you just named, you know, have uh, come to this conclusion uh, pulling together a number of factors. Was it a difficult conclusion for you? I mean, after all, your grandfather was once president of the United States. Well, it was. I have some sympathy for, for Chris Buckley because he had to leave the National Review. And, and he's part owner. And he's part owner. And, you know, having to, uh, feeling that I need to leave the Republican Party was something that was a, a very important thing for me because uh, I just felt that uh, the future of the party was not going to be moving towards the center. Uh, there's always a nostalgia about it because um, a political party is a bit like uh, religion or some other kind of social network. Um, many of your friends uh, are also associated with it, and you know it takes uh, outside of um, your own personal experience. Uh, but I'm now a registered independent, and I think this is going to suit my personality because I don't think either of these political parties really represent uh, the post-9-11 period in which we find ourselves. But was this a problem with your family? Oh, not at all. Um, my father actually became independent in 2004. Uh, that was the big piece of news that people missed. My father is always the family pathfinder, and uh, he just felt that uh, the Republican Party today uh, doesn't look a thing like the Republican Party did during the Eisenhower administration. And unfortunately, uh, that was not the case um, 15 or 20 years ago, uh, but it certainly is now. Now, the Obama campaign has called on you a lot. You spoke at the National Convention. You've, you've been down campaigning. You were at the last debates. Uh, if Obama is elected, do you think there might be a spot for you in the party, in some, not in the party, but some job, or would you accept the job if asked? Well, I think that's the last thing that's been on my mind. I just have been very, very concerned about America's um, position in the world. We are not regarded uh, in high esteem the way we once were. Uh, and then, of course, as the financial situation worsened over the course of the last year, I didn't see any prospect for things changing without having uh, a new cast of characters in there. I did this because I care about the future of this country, not because I'm looking for a job. And I think all Americans have to say that if the president calls, they'll certainly give it serious consideration. Colin Powell said that yesterday. Um, but the truth is, is that um, I'm very happy in my own professional career, and I just want to see the right man win this election. One quick question. You're an internationalist. How do you think this election is playing across the world? Well, I've never seen anything like it, actually. Uh, people from all um, you know, walks of life uh, from all different countries are saying to me, oh, we hope Obama's going to win. Ironically, um, in some circles, they say this doesn't help him 
uh, in in terms of um, succeeding domestically because um, some people are skeptical about foreigners wishing to have a certain uh, political figure win. But I think we have to recognize that America is so powerful that whoever is president of the United States ends up, in essence, almost being president of the world. And I think we have to realize that uh, Senator Obama gives us a real opportunity to turn a, uh, a page internationally and to restore our uh, reputation abroad. Thank you, Susan. This is Chuck Conconey and in Focus Washington.